Hello, I'm Dr. Chris Finnell, and I'm going to speak about laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. What is a sleeve gastrectomy? The sleeve gastrectomy is a partial stomach removal operation in which about 75% of the stomach is removed. The stomach goes from the size of a football down to the size of a banana. The remaining stomach is shaped like a long sleeve on a long sleeve shirt. That's how the operation gets its name. Material is not wrapped around the stomach, which is a common misunderstanding that people may have. The operation is done laparoscopically with five small incisions. We place a guide tube down the inside of the stomach and then use laparoscopic staplers to cut and seal the stomach. The freed up section of stomach is then removed through one of the small incisions. The guide tube is removed. We then check to make sure everything is okay and then we close the incisions. How does the operation work to help me lose weight? First, your stomach is much smaller, so you can't eat as much. A small amount of food, about four ounces, will fill you up. Second, there is some thought that the part of the stomach that is removed produces hormones that causes hunger. And once that part of the stomach is removed, those hunger hormones are decreased. How much weight will I lose? On average, people lose about 65% of their excess weight. So if a person is 250 pounds, 5 foot, 5 inches tall, they're 100 pounds overweight. At the end of a year after surgery, that person is on average going to weigh about 185. So that's 65 pounds of weight loss. Some people lose more, some people lose less. How long does the operation take? The operation usually takes less than an hour. Patients generally stay one to two nights in the hospital. What will my life be like directly after surgery? My patients are usually able to go back to work in a week. I keep my patients on a liquid diet for three weeks and then a soft, mushy diet for three weeks after that. What kind of activity can I participate in? As far as activity, I want my patients out of bed and walking the day of surgery. I ask them to try and walk 20 minutes every day the first week after surgery. When patients feel stronger, usually about a week after surgery, it is okay to start light exercise. Patients can drive as soon as they are off narcotic pain medicine, which should be three to four days after surgery. I see my patients for a follow-up visit the week after surgery. Most patients drive themselves to that appointment. When can I shower or bathe? I close the incisions from the inside with stitches that dissolve and a little skin glue on the outside so there are no bandages to change or staples to remove. Therefore, you can shower, take a bath, swim right after surgery. How should I expect to feel after the operation? Even though the operation is done with small incisions, it is still a major surgery. There will be some pain and nausea after the operation. You will be given medication to help reduce pain and nausea. The operation is not too terribly painful, but the nausea can be quite intense. In many patients, I feel the stomach goes into spasm, and it takes about 36 hours for the stomach to relax and the anesthesia to wear off. Then the nausea is much better. What are the potential complications of sleeve gastrectomy? Just like any major operation, serious complications can occur. Bleeding, dangerous blood clots, infections, hernias, damage to the internal organs like the esophagus, the spleen, the intestines, or liver can occur. Serious complications can result in death. The most dreaded complication after sleeve surgery is a leak. Leak occurs when the staple line that we use to seal the stomach cracks open and stomach juice leaks out. This can cause serious infections and even death. To treat this problem, surgeons sometimes have to place drains, stents, feeding tubes, and potentially even convert the sleeve operation into a gastric bypass type of operation. Other problems can occur, such as vitamin deficiencies. This is why I recommend you take a bariatric vitamin and have your vitamin levels checked at least once a year. Some sleeve patients may experience worse heartburn or acid reflux type symptoms, which could require medication. If the symptoms are severe, a conversion of the sleeve operation to a gastric bypass type surgery may be required. What long-term weight loss can I expect to achieve? Patients can and do regain weight after initially being successful at losing weight. The sleeve is only a tool to help you achieve your weight loss goals. Bariatric surgery is not perfect, 
but it is the most successful tool we currently have to fight severe obesity. You have to work to keep the weight off and will always have to be careful about slipping back into old eating habits, but the operation will make it easier. I feel strongly that bariatric surgery helps people live longer, happier, healthier lives and will get people to a healthier weight they are very unlikely to reach on their own. Thank you for your attention. Once again, I'm Dr. Chris Finnell and I'm a bariatric surgeon here at United Regional Solutions and I would be very happy to help you with your weight loss goals.